Like, I don't know what to do. I'm 22. I'm stuck. I'm miserable. I don't even know how to start. And I said, I actually think you do. I think you're just scared. Take out a blank piece of paper. Draw a line down the center. On the left-hand side, I want you to write, happy me. Now close your eyes and think about a time that you remember being happy or more confident or alive. It could be any word you want, right? And you might have to go back to childhood. Our daughter closed her eyes and she said it was senior year in high school. And I said, okay. So write down all of the things that you were doing in a week of your life, senior year in high school. Just describe your life for me. Oh, I got up at, and, and do it in detail, everybody. I got up at 7 a.m. or 6.30. I was leaving the house by 7. I was with my friends all day. I was looking forward to going to college. I was playing varsity lacrosse. I was exercising six days a week. I was only partying with friends twice a week. I, you know, was in a healthy dating relationship. I ate four dinners a night at home. Like, just do, 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 do. Great. Write down what your life looks like now. I sleep till one. I drink every day. I feel like I don't see my friends because everybody's scattered now that we graduate. I don't have anything to look forward to. My, my trip to Cambodia is canceled. I'm not exercising. Okay. Compare the two. Your own life experience offers the map. And we want to overcomplicate these big words like happiness. I know I did for decades, or confidence. It's actually found in the little things. If you do this simple exercise of drawing a line down a piece of paper, and you write down what life looked like in great detail, when did you wake up, when did you go to bed, how often were you with friends, family, what were you doing for work, exercise, what were you eating? If you then compare that to what life looks like now, you now know what to do. And the fact is, your whole life is the little things. It's when you wake up, it's the first thing you look at, it's what you do with your body, it's how you greet your spouse, it's how you talk to yourself, it's what you say to yourself when you look in the mirror, it's the mood that you walk into work with intentionally. It's how you greet your animals or your roommate when you end the day. It's the tone of voice that you use. That's your whole life. And if you were to just take the time and intentionally write down a few simple things that you do when you're happy in life, and you were to focus for the next seven days on just adding one of those in a day, you would be very surprised how getting some of the little things right actually starts to turn your life in a completely different direction.